so we just did the the effect of of an external electric field on a on a dipole now there is normally a confusion because the dipole itself has its field so at times you will feel that the dipole is in its own field so does that field affect the dipole no it does not the self field it, it is not propelled by the self field because because the, that impact also gets cancelled okay so so it does not get affected by that now what we did last was dipole in a uniform external field okay okay now we go to dipole in a in a in a non uniform external field okay in a non uniform external field in a non uniform external field okay now non uniformity can be of many types okay but what we are considering here is is two two types in 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 the first type the field actually is like this okay the field is like this and this is the direction of increasing field okay field is directed in, from left to right fine but but it increases in the same direction in this in this direction so 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 here maybe the field is say something like this in this direction right and in this direction the field direction is the same but the magnitude has changed direction of increasing field okay so the field here has increased field no i have specified it like that no no this is this is not force hold on this is the field say e1 here and e2 here they are different right their magnitude is different the direction at both the places remains the same so the force experienced by this is q times this field right so maybe like that and the force experienced by this charge will be in the opposite direction but a smaller magnitude why because e1 is smaller q are the same the plus q and minus q magnitude is the same but this magnitude is different hence the force is like that now what happens to the net force on the dipole net force on the dipole is equal to q e2 okay so this is q e2 and this is q e1 okay so q e2 minus q e1 okay now which is equal to q into e2 minus e1 so ultimately ultimately what happens you have a you have a vector q e2 like that you have a vector q e2 like that and a vector q e1 like this correct so what is the net vector the net vector points like this correct correct now 
let us try to understand what is the direction of the dipole moment it is this right negative to positive magnitude being 2aq that always is the case right fine let us take another case let us take another case where where the field is increasing in the opposite direction okay so i have a i have a minus q like that and a plus q like that and the field is is in this direction say the same same field the same field okay now this is the direction of increasing field this is the direction of increasing field okay that means maybe the field here is is the the field here is greater than the field here so let this be e1 and let this be e2 okay or, or maybe we have been assigning this as e1 then let it be e1 and let this be e2 the direction of p is still the same right now the force on this vector the force sorry force on this charge is say like that while the force on this charge is a smaller value right correct so say i call it f uh, i call it q e1 this is q e2 okay now let us try to see let us try to see what happened what happens what is the net force what is the net force the the force q e1 is like that the force q e2 is like that so the net force is like this okay so what is the conclusion that we reach what conclusion do we reach that the total force is always proportional to the direction of the increasing field hmm the total force net force here was in this direction that is that was in the direction of the increasing field mm -hmm. here it was in the direction of decreasing field no the net was net is black one the black vector is the net no this is f net this is f net here this is f net so what happens what happens what does it tell you it tells you that if you put a dipole in a non uniform field the force is in the direction of what is it increasing is it decreasing what is happening here it is towards the decreasing field no it's always in direction of the dipole dipole moment by dipole moment correct do we understand that so here the net force on the dipole net force on the dipole is equal to q e1 
minus q e2 which is equal to q into e1 minus e2 which is equal to which is equal to since e1 is greater okay so 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 from 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 left to right from left to right clear from left to right okay fine so what is the conclusion that i can draw what conclusion do i draw from here 